Hello everyone. As per our expert statistical study, you must have heard many buzzwords and different explanation of industry 4.0, smart factory, IoT, artificial intelligence, data science, etc. Most of the companies are trying to explain these buzzwords and sell their products by twisting definitions and not giving complete pictures. Simplifying complexity of all elements of industry 4.0 is our core competency many it professionals are not aware about manufacturing process and commonly used terminologies and vice versa our experts from different industries have come together to connect all dots and fill gap to drive industry 4.0 we defined all elements of industry 4.0 as application of technologies with mathematics into business to sustain competition data science is also going to play a vital role in next generation of industries and future jobs as well let me simplify data science with simple probability example before giving simplified definition you must have heard about normal distribution curve bell shaped curve in statistics let us understand this with simple experiments of free fall of steel balls on round pegs between two transparent vertical walls to ensure ball movement only in one vertical plane exact vertical free fall of balls on round pegs will result into bounce of balls either on left or right hand side as ball cannot stay on round peg therefore we can say ball bouncing probability for each side is 0.5 or 50%. This is similar to common example of tossing a fair coin. This means it has a 50% chance of landing heads up and 50% chance of landing tails up. Let us go back to our original free fall of ball case study. Let us assume there is second row of two pegs as shown and third row of three pegs. Assume we have four balls and want to check probability of collecting balls by each peg of third row. As explained earlier, each peg will allow to bounce balls either side with 50% probability. This means 2 out of 4 balls will bounce on left and right hand side. Therefore, third row will receive 1, 2 and 1 balls as shown. Therefore, probability of first pegs in third row is 1 fourth one half and one fourth which means 25% 50% and 25% if we try to plot a graph then you will find it just started taking shape of bell shaped curve but not really bell shaped curve here is interesting stuff now to understand data science with two balls we found straight line and with four balls pyramid shaped graph but Normal distribution graph should be bell shaped curve as per Gaussian distribution curve theory. Yes, theory is correct, but we need to have more data for the experiments. Let us assume now we have 12 rows of pegs as shown and total 4096 balls for free fall. Assume we have total 13 collection bins and 13th row to collect all balls. Let us take small assignment to find out number of balls at center bins and other bins after completion of free fall of 4096 balls. You must have learned now center bin will have maximum number of balls and extreme end bins will have least number of balls. Let us pause the video and calculate answers yourself and come back to check the results. Welcome back. Let me run computer animation to find answers. Since animation is going to take some time, hence you can have one more chance to correct your answers by pausing video even now. I am going to do fast forward of animation and slow down once closer to 50% of completion of free falls. That is 2048 balls. With this, you may get an idea what will be the result after 100% free fall of balls. Since this is computer simulations, which is closer with real life situations, hence results may vary by 2 to 3%. 
However, we have additional mathematical Microsoft Excel model as well to verify your answers and draw bell-shaped curve. You can monitor bar chart height differences and values which are changing after drop of each ball and it is taking shape of bell-shaped curve. More data will give more smooth curve and more accurate predication. Therefore, we can conclude that data science is applicable only if we have good amount of data. Okay, now we have completed free fall of all the balls that is 4096 balls. If your answer is 924, then this is 100% accurate. Let me explain the same with Microsoft Excel based mathematical calculation. Excel is simple as we can put some formulas and show number of balls for each peg and so on. You can see on top row, total balls of 4096 and in second row it will be distributed 50% that is 2048 on each. In third row, middle peg will receive balls from both second row pegs that is 1024 plus 1024 equals to 2048 and so on. In Excel, we just put simple formula of addition of half of above two numbers. In fourth row, 1536 number came by adding half of 1024 and half of 2048 that is 512 plus 1024. Let me show all balls of each row one by one to get final answer in row number 13 that is our collection bins. This concept is very familiar to Pascal Strangle. You can see that mathematical answer for middle row is 924 and extreme bins are with single ball only. Since all numbers in Excel and easy to draw graph. Let me show the graph results. Yes. It is perfect bell shaped curve. I hope now you understood normal distribution curve. Let me show some combined results of animation and excel based normal distribution graph. Both results are very close to each other. Let me overlap both the graphs to get an idea between both results. You must be wondering why animation results are little different than actual mathematical results. It is modified intentionally to match with real life scenarios. In real life as well, some unwanted variables come into play and varies continuously. Therefore, we define data science as extracting value added information from used data. In order to get a feel of physical process while learning, we have created different kits. In this case, let me show physical interesting real free fall of actual 3000 balls. Let me rotate this kit to start free fall of 3000 balls. This will be very fast as we are allowing fall of multiple balls at the same time and not one by one as shown in animation. We can repeat this exercise multiple times and every time we will get bell shaped curve only. This may not be perfect but close to mathematical model. In the next video, we will provide more insight about manufacturing variations standard deviation that is sigma empirical rule also referred to as a three sigma rule or 68 95 99.7 z score six sigma process capability study cpk ppk digital control chart and so on in this video we have only focused on normal distribution curve we hope that we could be able to simplify normal distribution curve which is the foundation of data science and hence base of industry 4.0 analytical elements. In order to keep continuity, we will be taking real case studies of ball bearing and its manufacturing process with all elements of industry 4.0. In order to learn industry 4.0 or data science, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get more interesting stuff with simplified and practical version.